University of Missouri Healthcare knows you've got better places to be than in a hospital. That's where our world-class technology and highly skilled medical team come in. We get you home sooner. That's important to you and those who wait for you. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends. This is Thursday, it's June 3rd, and today we're going to talk about healthy for life. And I want to introduce you to a lady who is healthy for life, <laughs> <laughs> and you are healthy I for am life. I healthy for life, yes. Yeah, so nice to both meet ways. You. Lynn, Lynn, Lynn Rossi, well, we've known each other for a little while. <laughs> right. But Lynn, uh, this program, Healthy for Life, is designed for employees of the University of Missouri, but Anybody, anywhere in the world, can actually be a part of this, and it's free of charge, right? Well, uh, they can be a part of some of our programs. Right. For instance, the things that I do, I put on a website, and I have a blog. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today was my new blog called Tips for Mindful Eating. And anybody around the world can go on that website and subscribe and get a weekly blog. And it's free of there. charge. Free of charge. Okay. Yeah. Tips for Mindful Eating? Correct. And what are some of the tips for mindful eating? Oh, there's tons of tips for mindful eating. But um, what I do is every week I go in and I um, just talk about something that I've discovered that week or something that I've run across, whether it's research about how you eat more healthy, how you pay more attention to the food that you eat, how you begin to take advantage of um, your own internal wisdom about what to eat, when to eat, and why. Okay, first of all, describe what do you mean when we say mindful, mindful eating? eating. Yeah. Right, okay. Well, if you go on my, on my blog, Tips okay. for Mindful Eating, I have my basics of mindful eating. Well, okay? you're pushing that blog, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really pushing my blog. How do you get onto this blog? <laughs> okay, well, it's a little complicated, but I'll tell you two ways to get there. Okay. okay. The easiest way is just to Google Tips for Mindful Eating, Columbia, Missouri. Okay. And it'll come right up at the top. Okay. Okay. So, and everybody Googles these days. So that's right. one easy way. Now, if you really want, and you got to put in Columbia, you, Missouri. Yeah, Columbia, Missouri. Tips for mindful eating, Columbia, Missouri. Correct. Or you can go to www.umsystem.edu/newscentral/mindfuleating. I suggest you just <laughs> Google it. Just go to Google, put in tips for mindful eating, eating Columbia, Columbia, Missouri. Missouri. Okay. Okay. So and now when you, you get onto there, the, yeah. I have on the upper left-hand corner my basics of mindful eating. And I came up with this acronym, BASICS, Basics of Mindful Eating. And so if you just, you can read along on the blog, but it's BASICS stands for belly check. Pay attention to your belly and how, if you're hungry before you eat or not. many times. You're not hungry. Because we, we eat and we're not hungry. I know. We just eat to be eat, eating. Eat, eat. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right. Okay. So you want to check. Am I, am I even hungry? And this is not on the basics necessarily, but what are you hungry for? Mm -hmm. You may be hungry for food, but you may be hungry for something else. You may be hungry to, um, or hungry, I say hungry um, metaphorically, because you may be hungry for doing something like um, taking a nap, exercising, uh, connecting with a friend, um, all kinds of things, reading a book. It's something doing something creative. You know, we I have, never thought but, of it that yeah, way. Yeah, we have You're all these hungers, for something, else. something else. But we feed every hunger with food. But we have lots of hungers, and we don't have time. We don't take the time to really fulfill the hungers um, that are besides food. Mm -hmm. And that's why we use food because it's so fast and easy and quick. Okay. Right. It's right. Like, I, I have all right. these hungers, but I don't have time. I'm going to eat a brownie instead. Mm. Right? That's not good. That's not good? No. Okay. No, that's not so good. belly check. A stands for assess your food. What is it you're eating? If you really paid attention to what you're eating and looked at what you're eating, you may not eat all that stuff. Mm. I mean, what is it you're really putting into your body? You know, is it a piece of fresh fruit or is it something that has so many chemicals in it that you don't even know how to read it, <laughs> you know? Right. 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 Yeah, you shouldn't eat that stuff, those chemicals. Yeah. Yeah, but look at what you're eating. So you assess your food. Right? right. Okay. Then S stands for slow down. Slow oh, down. While slow you down. Eat. Because yeah. if you eat slower, if you eat slower, you are going to have the feeling that you are full. Quicker. Quicker. Well, you, I don't know about quicker. You're going to notice your feelings of satiety. See, I, I eat fast. Ah, I can pile yeah. away a, a dish of pasta in no time. Right, and then and, and then like twenty minutes later, you're like, oh my gosh, what did no, I eat? No, not really. Right? Oh. <laughs> 
Well, okay, some people do. But yeah. it takes about 20 minutes for your brain to actually register that you're full. And so if you've already eaten, like in one minute, you know. Yeah, uh, your brain yeah. doesn't know that you're yeah, full. Yeah, I know. So you keep, keep eating, eating and, eating. Eating, and right. eating. Right, right. Okay, so slow down. Um, I is investigate your hunger halfway through your meal. Okay, so oftentimes we don't even pay attention. If we have a plate of food, we'll eat the whole plate of food regardless. But if you investigate your hunger halfway through, you say, "Am I really am I hungry really still to finish hungry? this?" Yeah. Okay, save it. If you're save not, it. if you're not, save exactly. it. Put it away, and right. you save money. Exactly. Okay. I know. Or make the portion smaller. Right. We make our portions well, way we do. too big. Well, we don't, but the restaurants do. I mean, supersize me. That, oh, I hope we don't get sued. Okay, supersize mm -hmm. me, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's like people keep making, the restaurants keep making portions bigger and bigger and bigger because people like to get more for their money. But see, that's okay. not a good strategy. Okay. Okay, that's making us obese as a culture. Yeah. Okay. We, we are, actually, many of us are overweight. Yeah, but you know, it's actually research has shown that if you pay attention to how hungry you are and put how much food you want on a plate, you actually, your mind knows before you even eat how much food will fill you up. Isn't that funny? Isn't that great? You have to think about it, right? Yeah, but you have, you have to stop and think about it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Or if you go to a <laughs> if you go to a buffet. Oh, see, that's, oh yeah, yeah, don't even I love go buffets. To, oh, you do, huh? But well, you don't. No, because I don't get my money's worth because I don't eat the whole buffet. See, well, you know, it's like I don't. Why, it's it's wasted on me. Why is it though? Some people can eat as much as they want. And they don't gain weight. Well, okay, weight. so genetics. I mean, there are genetics involved, okay? Some people are just genetically more thin than other people. And you have to become appreciative of your own genetics, you yeah. know? I mean, you really do. You don't have, can't beat yourself up because look at your mother and father. You are going to have a body shape like your mother and father do, mm -hmm. right? Or one of them, yeah. right? So part of it's, an, you know, you inherit. And then people exercise, right? right. Okay, let me get through the basics. Okay, okay, we, okay we got C, about chew slowly. Chew slowly. Okay. And then S, savor your food. Okay, and that's one of the most important parts is savor your food. I want people to enjoy food. I want people to really, you know, enjoy the eating experience. And so much of the time, food has become the enemy. Okay. okay? If you want more information on this, yes. go to her blog. The <laughs> simplest way to go to the blog is go to Google and put in Tips, tips for, for Mindful, mindful eating, eating, Columbia, Missouri. Correct. And it will come up. It'll come right And up. then you can, you can partake in all and of this all of and it. it's free of Subscribe, charge. Subscribe and there's audio recordings on there, all kinds of and resources. And that's all free? Yeah, all free. Okay. And yep. you're part of the university, I but am. Uh, you don't have to be a university employee to take part of the blog. That's correct. Okay. okay. Lynn, always a pleasure to have you. Will you come I, back and visit I with will, me again? I will. You're going to have your mind studied uh, meditating, aren't you? I, possibly, yes. Okay. Yeah. We need to talk about we that. We will talk about that. Right. Uh, tomorrow on our show, we're going to find out about Tiger Treasures and Lulu Roman's appearance in Central Missouri. Our show directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Jennifer Niederjohn McMillan. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator is Uncle James Mauser. And if you would like to hear this program again and see Lynn Rossi, you can see how thin, <laughs> how fit for li healthy for healthy life for she life. is. Uh, go to www.kbia.org, click on Radio Friends, and sign up for a free vodcast or a podcast, and you can watch it too. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.